the man you say has come to worship you the man you say has come to worship you the man you leave him has come to worship you Mercies to 
towards us. Oh Lord, oh great is your faithfulness. They are new every morning, always new every morning. Hey, your mercy is a new, yeah. Great is your faithfulness, oh Lord. Great is your faithfulness. Oh, they are new every morning. Hey, they are new every morning. Great is your faith, gratefulness, mercies towards us, Lord. Your faithfulness. Oh, great is your faithfulness towards us, towards us, Lord. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your mercy towards me. Your loving kindness towards me, your tender mercy I see day after day forever. Always providing for us. Great is your mercy towards me. Great is your grace. Oh, great is your mercy. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands with me and say, Father, we believe we receive every blessing, every dominion, and every breakthrough that is due to our praise this evening. In the name of Jesus, we'll give you all the glory, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' matchless name, we have worshipped. I want to specially welcome you to yet another day in our ongoing dominion and breakthrough fast. On behalf of our senior pastor, Reverend Dijio Labade, I do not take this privilege for granted to bring God's word to you and to also join you in prayer. 
intercessor. I pray that we will remain faithful and fruitful sons and daughters in the spiritual house of the Olabo days in the name of Jesus. Now bow your head with me in a short word of prayer. Father, we thank you for how far you have brought us. Thank you for the miracles that you have wrought in our midst. Thank you for great and mighty things that you are doing. Thank you for the process of consecration that is actively ongoing in this house. Thank you for the happening zone that you have ushered us into. Thank you for great and mighty things you will yet do in our midst. Thank you because none of your word of promises will fall to the ground. We give you glory and all the honor. We now ask, Father, your word says the letter killeth but it is your spirit that gives life. We ask for the life-giving spirit of God to be at work in manifestation in our midst tonight in the name of Jesus. Do what you alone can do. Give to us the spirit of grace and supplication. Open heaven over this meeting. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. We are reading from Judges chapter 16, verse 4. Judges chapter 16, we're reading from verse 4 to verse 22. The Bible says, Afterward, it happened that he loved a woman, talking about Samson, in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. And the lords of the Philistines came up to her and said to her, Entice him and find out where his great strength lies, and by what means we may overpower him, that he may bind, that we may bind him to afflict him, and every one of us will give you eleven hundred pieces of silver. Verse six, so Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me where your great strength lies and with what you may be bound to afflict you. And Samson said to her, If they bind me with seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. Verse 8, So the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried, and she bound him with them. Now men were lying in wait, staying with her in the room, and she came to him. The Philistines are upon you, Samson, but he broke the bowstrings in a strand of yam bricks, uh, it as, as a strand of yarn bricks when it touches fire. So the secret of his strength was not known. In verse 10, then Delilah said to Samson, Look, you have mocked me and told me lies. Now please tell me what you may be bound with. So he said to her, If they bind me securely with new ropes that have never been used, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. Therefore Delilah took new ropes, bound him with them, and said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson, and men were lying in wait, staying in the room, but he broke them off his arms like a thread. Verse 13, Delilah said to Samson, Until now you have mocked me and told me lies. Tell me what you may be bound with. And he said to her, If you weave the seven locks off my head into the web of the loom, so she wove it tightly with the button of the loom and said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. But he awoke from his sleep, pulled out the button and the web from the loom. Then she said to him, how can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? You have mocked me these three times and have not told me where your strength, where your great strength lies. And it came to pass when she pestered him daily with her words and pressed him so that his soul was vexed to death that he told her all his heart and said to her, no razor has ever come upon my head for I have been a Nazarite to God from my mother's womb. If I am shaven, then my strength will leave me and I shall become weak and be like any other man. Verse 18, then Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart. She sent and called for the laws of the Philistines, saying, Come up once more, for he has told me all his heart. So the laws of the Philistines came up to her, brought the money in her hand, in their hand. Then she lured him to sleep on her knees, called for a man, and had him shave off the seven locks of his head. Then she began to torment him, and his strength left him. Hallelujah. Verse 20, and she said, the Philistines are upon you, Samson, like she said before. So he awoke from his sleep and said, 
I will go out as before at other times and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had departed from him. Then the Philistines took him, put out his eyes, brought him down to Gaza. They bound him with bronze fetters, and he became a grinder in the prison. However, the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaven. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. There are a few things I want to call your attention to in this scripture, and then we'll pray. The first thing is that Samson was a Nazarite. Samson was a Nazarite. What does it mean to be a Nazarite? It means somebody who is consecrated and somebody who is separated unto God. Just like Samuel, both Samson and Samuel's mothers were barren and they had a supernatural encounter. Samson's mother had an angelic encounter and an angel told her, yes, you, yes, you have been barren, but you're going to have a special child who is going to deliver the children of Israel from the Philistines. And then he gave her the protocol of, you know, raising up this child as a Nazarite. What does it mean to be a Nazarite? Somebody who abstains from wine, anything that intoxicates, somebody who restrains from cutting their hair, and somebody who is not polluted by touching dead things, who is not defiled by touching corpses. But we see in this scripture that for everyone who is called as a Nazarite, which I believe that is the call of God upon our lives this season, calling us to be separated, calling us to be consecrated unto him. Why? Because he has something in store for us. Reverend said we are on a move. We are on the move to another level. We are on the move to the promised land. But it will require consecration. It will require separation to be able to get to the other side that God has in store for us. And for every man that is called, into the consecration status there is a blessing on the other side for something there's strength supernatural strength uh, that is unequaled that is unequaled in his time that is needed for him to fulfill his god-ordained destiny for samuel he was a prophet as long as he remained a nazarite consecrated and separated unto the lord there is a breakthrough there's a dominion on the other side so the second thing i like you to pay attention to here is that sin is after your great strength and reverend has established this for us uh, in the many days that we have gone in this fast what the question you must ask yourself therefore is what is the secret of your great strength uh, and who or what is after the secret of your great strength in judges chapter 16 verse 6 you saw what delilah said to samson he said please tell me where your great strength lies and with what you may be bound to afflict you reverend said sin is pleasurable but sin is after your glory all have seen and they have fallen short of the glory of god so what sin is after is what reverend calls our cutting edge our unique selling point what gets the job done our critical success factor that is what sin is after what determines the condition of our productivity and effectiveness that is what sin is after you see every of those points of temptation samson kept saying if you do this then i will be like man i will be like ordinary man so what sin and iniquity is after is our cutting edge what makes us different from other men what makes us outstanding what makes us supernatural that is what sin is after why is the strength why is your strength why is my strength important proverbs 20 29 the bible says the glory of young men is is in their strength it means therefore that once our strength is taken the glory has departed once the strength is no longer with us uh, then we are short of glory in first john chapter 12 verse 14 it says i have written to you young men because you are strong and the word of god are Bides in you and you have overcome the wicked one. It is an anathema to think that it is when we become old that we will become purer. It's an anathema to think that, oh, it is when we become old that we will become more disciplined. It is for young. Strength is for young people. The expectation of God in the days of our youth is that we are strong and that we overcome the wicked one. 
But look at what happens in Psalms 31 verse 10. It says, sin has drained my strength. So what sin is after is the source of your great strength, the source of your cutting edge. And the next time you are faced with that challenge, remember that what is at stake is your great strength. The third thing I want you to notice that I want you to take note of in that scripture is that Samson had a strong emotional attachment with Delilah. Judges 16 verse 4, NIV version says, Some time later, he fell in love with a woman in the valley of Sorek whose name was Delilah. Reverend mentioned earlier, when your love for a thing is stronger than your will to change. Are there times when you know that what you're doing is wrong? You know that the repercussion of what you're doing is evil. But your love for that thing, for that practice, for that tendency, for that person, for that easily besetting sin is too strong, is even stronger than your conviction to, 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 to change. Three times, three times. I mean, apparently Samson knew what was going on. He knew what the woman was after. He knew that the woman was after his strength. The first time he said, get seven fresh bowstrings. The second time he said, get new ropes that no one has ever used. The third time he said, weave my hair into seven locks. He knew what was going. He was determined not to let it go. But the Bible said he had fallen in love with a woman in the valley of Sorek. What is it that you are falling in love with? What love do you have for a particular thing that is after the source of your strength? What love is stronger than your conviction to change. Tonight, God is breaking that emotional attachment uh, with your Delilah in the name of Jesus. Now, in Judges chapter 16, verse 15 and 16, we saw how Samson succumbed to the pressure. And there's a lot of things uh, that is pressuring us. Uh, there are a lot of things around us uh, that is calling for our attention. We have been saying no. We have been saying no. Samson has been saying no. Samson has been saying no. I'm not giving you my strength. But what? see what happened in verse 15. Then she said to him, how can you say I love you? And when, you, when your heart is not with me, you have mocked me this three times. You have not told me where your great strength lies. And it came to pass uh, when she pestered him daily with her words and pressed him so that his soul was vexed to death. We saw here that Samson gave in to the pressure. Samson gave him to the pressure. And the moment he gave in, uh, that was the end of his God-ordained assignment. That was the end of his God-ordained destiny. God had called him, anointed him from the womb of his mother to deliver the children of Israel, to begin to deliver them from the, from the Philistines. Uh, and at the prime of his ministry, at the prime of his strength, uh, when the whole world was as a feat, uh, he was carrying the gate of a city up the hill, uh, he was tearing up at the mouth of lion he was invisible he was unstoppable even though he was strong on the outside but his inner man was weak he caved in under pressure it was the same situation where joseph was in genesis 39 verse 10 to 12 so it was as she spoke to joseph day by day the wife of potiphar that he did not heed her to lie with her or to be with her but it happened about this time when joseph went into the house to do his work none of the men of the house was inside that she caught him by his garment saying lie with me but unlike Samson that caved in under pressure, Joseph, look at what Joseph did. He left his garment in her hand and fled and ran outside. I'm asking God this morning that strength will be given to us on our inside to be able to flee uh, from everything that is after the source of our strength uh, in the name of Jesus. Now, in verse 28 of that scripture, even long after Samson has lost his cutting edge after he has lost uh, his strength uh, after he has lost his anointing look at what happened the bible says uh, in verse 20 22 of that scripture that samson's air began to grow again and in verse 28 uh, he used the power of intercession to renew his strength he said then samson called to the lord saying oh lord 
God. Remember me, I pray. Strengthen me, I pray. Just this once, O oh God, that I may with one blow take vengeance on the Philistines uh, for my two eyes. Um, Reverend, I remember preaching many years ago. He said that Samson prayed the wrong prayer. I mean, he could have prayed this prayer for resurrection, I mean, for restoration of his strength, uh, restoration of his sight. Uh, but he took, uh, you know, God's assignment into his hand. The Reverend taught us that vengeance is of the Lord. Uh, he, he could have received, renewed his strength, restored his sight, and continue his assignment. And that's what we're praying about tonight. That in every area where we have lost our strength, uh, we are believing God for a renewal of strength. Uh, we are believing God that the Holy Ghost uh, will strengthen our inner man uh, to be able to make the right decision and that we'll be able to bounce back uh, to the center of God's call and God's assignment for our lives. Uh, all like Samson uh, who used the power of intercession to destroy himself. We are saying uh, no more. We are no longer subject to the power of Delilah. We are no longer subject to the power of our weakness. Uh, we are believing God go for a restoration of strength like never before to be able to fulfill every plan and every purpose of God for our life. Jump up and let us pray wherever you are. Jump up and let us pray. Let's begin from Romans chapter 8 verse 26. The Bible says likewise the spirit also helps in our weaknesses for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered look at that scripture he's saying that the reason why how does he pray for us how does he intercede to us by helping our weaknesses we are saying father in the name of jesus send us the help of the holy ghost in every area of weakness is someone praying about that in the name of jesus Sopratishka Baragataya Gadosa, Eriki Seki Paria Gataya Gratia Sata, Rebuku Pratia Casata, Yabrado do Bashikaba. We summon the help of the Holy Ghost into every area of weakness in our lives. Reba Kosu to Pratias Kabayaga. Let your strength now be made perfect in every area of weakness represented in this house. Reba Kosa Pratia Gata, Le Parika Baba Baba, in the Braso Sopratishki Brahli. Agata, Ele Parosco Patieski, Rede de 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 Bosha Pradiasa, Ripa Baba Babaliaska Pariegede, Reso so Pratieskin de Bralusk Rihanda, Repo Poco Shatayagada. Ete kratosa re pa 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 rosondo yo prege de 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 re de 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 ma brakia gata ya ba e re po koso to brakia ga re po sondo yo bretiyeshe e ma mbrata ya garia ga re po sondo yo bretiyeshe e lege de 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 re toso pratiska re de 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 re pro kosa e le pratoso pradia shata re pa 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 balia gata ya bra pa 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 re te ye gete ye pro koso to bradia Kataya Brakata, a Mambra Toso Pratisha, we receive the help of the Holy Ghost in every area of weakness. Help for every area of weakness. Help for every area of weakness. In the name of Jesus, Ele Parata Yagaria Gadododo Sapariagada, a Mambra Toso Praliege de 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 Rikete Ye Brosso So Bradieske Pradiasa, a Mambra Taya Gradiagada, Rebobobobobo Soto Bradiaska. Somebody cry for the help of the Holy Ghost that we will not be here as alone deceiving ourselves but that the doer's anointing will fall upon us in this house E rege de bo e ricato so pradiasa re de 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 re bo sondo yo pradiasa le poro koso pradiasa re bo 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 robo so pradies kende yege re de 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 re so so pradias kataya pra le paria sataya pradozo so pradiasa one more minute groan in the spirit for the help of the Holy Ghost acknowledge that you cannot do it by yourself re ba so so pradias ka e mam pradosa Acknowledge that there's a limit to your own strength. Rebo cobra tias kataya gadada da reba baba 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 baba. 
e regete yebo e mambrata ya gari ya kasa e morobo sondo yo bregede de de rebo soprali ya gata re ba 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 regede de 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 re to bari ya gata re bo 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 regede de 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 le porobo sombra di asa e le praso soprali eske de ye koroba di asa rendu kubradi ya klia kusu soprati asa in jesus mighty name we are prayed father we thank you because we enjoy supernatural help from above the help of the holy ghost like never before in the name of jesus help of the holy ghost for every area of weakness in jesus matchless name we have prayed we saw in the scripture we read in judges chapter 16 that even though samson was strong on the outside he was weak on the inside and what preserves or what preserves our outer strength uh, is the strength that we carry on the inside you know do you pray uh, more violently or longer publicly than you pray privately is there a success uh, that is being powered in your secular life uh, but there is no power on the inside what preserves your outer strength is the strength that you carry on the inside so even though Samson was still powerful he was still carrying the gates of the city but he was becoming weaker on the inside he was already becoming weaker in the areas of the vow that he made as a Nazarite in the area of the consecration so it was just a matter of time he had already eaten the awning from a dead animal he was already sleeping with a lot and then he has already given himself to intoxication in giving his love to an uncircumcised woman so it was just a matter of time the strength on the outside was going to dwindle it was just a matter of time it was going to fall what are we praying to god for we are praying to god god will strengthen our inner man we are praying for strength like never before in ephesians chapter 3 verse 16 it says that it will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man we're saying father in the name of jesus strengthen our inner man with might by your spirit to be able to preserve the mandate of god on our lives in purity and holiness in the name of jesus strengthen us in our inner man with might by your spirit to be able to preserve the mandate of god upon our lives in purity and in holiness who is crying out for strength in inner man Erebo zono bokosha, re de 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 de, re de bo so pratiasha, re ba 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 ba, strengthen my inner man, Lord. Re bo ko so pratiasha, strengthen our inner man, Lord. Re bo ko so pratiasha, Elia ko robo so to pratiasha with might. Re bo so pratiasha by your spirit, le bo robo ko so pratiasha to be able to preserve the mandate of. God upon our lives by purity, yeah. Lebo robo tosha in purity and holiness, yeah. Lebo robo kosu bradiashka, le le prati eze de ye broko so so bradiasha, e le prato so so bradiasha. Let our inner man begin to grow in strength, yeah. Lebo robo kosu so bradiasha, re de 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 bo robati aska, lebo ro so bradiasha. Let our inner man begin to grow in strength, yeah. stronger than the temptations around us, stronger than our situations and our circumstances. Stronger than the limitations of our time. Let our inner man grow in strength in the name of Jesus. Cause our inner man to grow in strength in Jesus mighty name we are praying the purpose of god for samson was that he was going to begin to deliver israel out of the hand of the philistines but that purpose was cut short because his inner man became weaker father we thank you because our inner man is strengthened with might like never before by your spirit to be able to preserve your mandate upon our lives in purity and in holiness in jesus name we are praying we saw in Judges chapter 16 that it is possible for us to fall in love with 
people with things with practices with habits that are not in our best interest and that was what happened to samson we are praying that god will break every emotional attachment or entanglement that we have with delilah we're saying break every emotional attachment who is delilah delilah is that person is that Thing, uh, is that habit uh, that strengthens uh, that strength that 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 is after the source of our strength uh, that is Delilah Delilah is that person or that thing uh, that is after the source of our strength he says show me the trust the source of your strength uh, is after the death uh, of that power that we carry it is after the 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 demise uh, of the plan and purpose for our life we're saying God strengthening our will uh, to do the right thing uh, is some of praying about that in the name of Jesus. Break every emotional entanglement, every emotional attachment that we have with Delilah. In the name of Jesus, strengthen our will to do the right thing. He said, I have set before you life and death. He said, choose life. It means our will has to be strengthened uh, to separate ourselves uh, with every Delilah in our sphere. Everything, every person uh, that is after the source of our great strength. Uh, every situation asking, uh, where does our great strength lie? Uh, we receive strength to disconnect from them. We receive strength to disconnect from that habit. Uh, we break every emotional attachment with Delilah in the name of Jesus. Concerning every man and woman, every leader and every member, every father, every mother, every husband and every wife, every child in the enthronement assembly, in the name of Jesus, let every emotional attachment that we have with Delilah now be broken. Let it be shattered. Let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. We come out of it stronger. In the name of Jesus. We are praying. Father, we thank you because every emotional attachment, every emotional entanglement that we have with Delilah is shattered, broken, destroyed under this anointing. In the name of Jesus, we are strengthened like never before in our will to do the right things. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So we saw that the same situation where Samson was, uh, was the same situation where Joseph was. Uh, but unlike Samson, uh, Joseph knew when to stop praying for the strength to say no, but to receive the strength to flee. Uh, at some point, it is not enough to say no, it is required that we flee. Uh, 1 Corinthians 6.18 says, flee sexual immorality. He didn't say, say no to it. Uh, sometimes what we need is not the strength to say no, but the strength to flee. We are asking the Lord strengthen us. Give us the strength needed to flee and to separate ourselves from, from every entity that is after our strength. You're saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, give us the strength needed to flee and to be separated from every entity that is after our strength. Pray us in the name of Jesus. Ele paro so we receive the strength needed to flee and to be separated from every entity, every individual, every habit, every easily besetting sin that is after our strength now and always. In the name of Jesus, we leave our garment behind. 
Elisha like Joseph and we flee recupari katosa redededebosa le pratosa unlike Samson we do not give in to the pressure we do not cave on the pressure le poroso so pratishka redededebosa redededebosa there is fire now on the laps of our Delilah we no longer are comfortable staying there redoso pratiashkata we are no longer welcome there we are no longer comfortable on the laps of our Delilah in the name of Jesus le poroso parigadosha erigata kariakliatosa in Jesus mighty name we are pray father we thank you because we receive supernatural strength it takes to detach ourselves to separate to flee every entity from every entity that is after our strength in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus come on celebrate Jesus for answered prayers we now saw in verse 28 of that scripture that strength that was once lost can be renewed. Strength, the Bible says that Samson's hair began to grow again. And I think that in this period of fast, the hair that have been shoven is growing again. I don't know if you can feel it, that you can pray again. You can fast longer again. You can hear from God again. You can make certain moves. Everyone wants said that we're going to see our true nature. Uh, I had a dream uh, and God showed me a personal revelation. It has not happened in a long time. Uh, I believe that our hair is growing again this season uh, and I wanted to take advantage of it. The fact that strength can be renewed the Bible says, how can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. 1 John 2, 14. He said, I have written to you fathers because you have known him who is from the beginning. I have written to you young men because you are strong. What is the source of their strength? He said, the word of God abides in you. If the word of God abides in you, then you have the capacity to overcome the wicked one. What does it mean for the word to abide? It means that you continue. The word dwells. The word is present. The word remains in you. What happened with Samson was that because he gave himself to the things that intoxicate, he started defiling himself with dead things and then his hair was caught. He begins to forget the laws, the content of his vows as a Nazarite. Proverbs 10, 29, the way of the Lord is strength for the upright, but destruction will come to the workers of iniquity. What are we praying to God for? We're praying for grace to remain grace to dwell grace to continue and to be present with the world that we may overcome the wicked one is someone praying about that in the name of jesus honor us with the grace needed to remain to dwell and to be present with the word of god that we might overcome the wicked one he says because you are strong young man and the word of god abides in you you have overcome the wicked one grace to have the word continually dwell with us grace to continue in the word of god grace for the word of god to abide in us grace to be forever present with the word that we might overcome the wicked one we cannot do it by ourselves we cannot walk in the way of the law by ourselves if we do not have the word of god in us grace not to be separated from the word Grace to read, to study, to meditate, to confess. Grace to apply ourselves to the word of God. Grace to continually abide with the word that we might overcome the wicked one. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Father, we thank you because we believe we receive the grace 
required to remain to be present to dwell with the word of god that we may overcome the wicked one in the name of jesus we spend more time in the word we read the word we study the word we walk in an unusual understanding and knowledge of the word of god in the name of jesus we get wisdom and understanding from the word and therefore we overcome the wicked one come on celebrate jesus for answer prayers in jesus mighty name we are prayed strength can be renewed i don't care you know we must understand what the source of our strength is and we must be able to identify those people and those entities that is after the source of our strength the reverend said that he pays attention to what is responsible for his results oh he started giving to someone and then the finances of the church went to the next level so it protects the source of that strength uh, so what is after what is the source of your strength is it prayer uh, what is after your prayer life uh, what is after your giving what is after your honor what is after what has been uh, over the years been a track record of your success that entity that person is your delilah in isaiah chapter 40 verses 21 to 31 he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might he increases strength even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall but those who wait on the lord shall what renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary <laughs> they shall walk and not faint so that's where joseph god is running might from the ability to wait upon the lord and that's what we're doing in this 30 days waiting upon the lord in prayers in fasting in consecration we're saying lord grant to us grace to wait on you in prayer in fasting in consecration this season and always that our strength might be renewed that our strength may be renewed is someone praying about grace grace to wait upon you like never before in this 30 days grace to wait upon you in prayers in fasting in consecration that our strength may be renewed ritubaki they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength as we wait upon you this season our strength is renewed we mount up wings like eagles we run and we do not we are not weary we walk and we do not faint in the name of jesus we refuse to run out of strength we refuse to run out of the the ability look rehata yagatia gadayaba to fulfill our part in this walk of consecration on like something we refuse to cave in under pressure our inner man is strengthened as we wait upon the lord we receive grace to pray grace to study grace to fast longer our fast is more effective this season in the name of jesus we are not giving up yet rato supra we are waking up to pray at the middle of the night. We receive revelation like never before. This revelation is becomes our application. He becomes our confession. He becomes our medification. Our meditation. In the name of Jesus, Rito Kubaria Sataya Bratias Kata, Rete Yeke Parias, Rosso So Bratias, Le Pratosha. We receive the strength needed to complete the fifth process. Le Paria Gataya Baba. We will not fall by the wayside. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you glory and all the honor. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Thank you, Lord, because we believe we receive strength. Grace to wait upon you.
in the place of prayers, in the place of fasting, in the place of consecration this season and always to the end that our strength will be renewed in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus for answered prayers. In Mark chapter 12 verse 30, the Bible now said, what are we now supposed to do with our strength as young people? It said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And he said, you will love Delilah with all your strength. He said, you will love the Lord with all your strength. He said, this is the first commandment. We're saying we are believing God like never before, now and always to love the Lord our God with all our strength. Our strength is exhausted in our love for God, in our walk for Him. Pray us in the name of Jesus. Jimbarabatos, Jege Bariaska, Riba Baba Baba Baba, Jenge de 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 de, Riba Baba Baba Baba, Riba Baba Baba Baba, Eliburubo Sapayag, Nimam Bratos, Rege de 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 de, Rende de 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 bos, Rege de 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 de, Rede de 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 bos Sapa, Raba Baba 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 Baba, Rede de de bos Sapratias, Eliparos Kupariag, Rede Kiriasosu, Rede de 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 de, Riba Kuso Pratias. Jege de 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 Aritaso, Rege de 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 de, Le Paroso, Protiaska, Rege de 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 de, Rede de 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 de, Rege de 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 bos, Riba ba 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 ba, Le Parisha, Rege de 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 de, Rege de 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 de, Rete Kebarias, Riba ba Barias, Riba ba 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 ba, Le Paroso, Topradias, Rege de 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 de, Rege de 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 de, Le Prasoso Pradias, Rege de 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 bos, Repa. Koso pradia sataya gradia sa reproshita. Grace to love you with all of our strength. Le bratos. Grace to be the greatest lover of God in our generation. We receive it now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Father, we thank you because you are raising us as the greatest lover of God, the greatest lover of men in our generation. Our strength strength is exhausted in the love of God. Our strength is not for the love of Delilah. It is not for the love of this world. Our strength is exhausted in the love of God, in the work of God. Our days, the youth, the days of our youth are expended in the love of God, in the work for God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Judges chapter 16, look at what now eventually happened in verse in verse 25, so it happened when their hearts were merry, they now called for Samson, and that he may come perform for them. So they called for Samson from the prison, and he performed for them, and they stationed him between the pillars. In verse 28, 26, then Samson said to the Lord who held him by the hand, he said, let me feel the pillars which support the temple so that I can lean on them. There are some people that are called strengtheners in the Bible. In Luke 22, 31 and 32, Lord said, the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. He said, but I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. He now said, when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. Strengthen your brethren. You know that it takes uh, an experienced victory to be able to strengthen our brethren. As a love circle leader now, you know, a member comes to you and says, I'm struggling with this. But you two are also struggling with that thing. How do you, you know, be an agent of deliverance in your own struggle? It means, therefore, that God has to raise a generation of strengtheners in our midst. People who have a demonstrated history of victory from their easily besetting sin, from the Delilahs in their life, people who are actively involved, demonstrating the grace of God, demonstrating victory in every sphere of weakness. We're saying like 
Peter, raise strength now in our midst. People who have returned to you, people whose faith have not failed. Pray us in the name of Jesus. People who will strengthen others in the enthronement assembly, raise strength now in our midst. People with demonstrated history of victory in the areas of their struggle. Not people who just preach, not people who just teach, but people who have done it, people who have proven it, people who have a demonstrated history of victory in the areas of their struggle that they might strengthen others. You can say, Glory raise me up as a strengthener in the enthronement assembly. Give me victory in the areas of my trouble that I might strengthen others. Soso Pratishka, Erika Coco Barica Toso, Elicaria Gatoso Pratishka, Rede de 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 Bosso, Praliaga, Rede de 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 Eliasoso, rede de 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 bossa pradias ele que boro bossa rede de 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 le brosso to bradia rede de 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 rede de 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 rese que de ye brosso ele papa maria cataya ba rese te ye broco so so bradisha rede de 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 le boro bosso to rege de 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 Raise strength now in our midst. Le korabatishka in Jesus. Mighty name we are praying. You know there are people who try to deliver people from things that they have not been delivered from. You know that's why you know scripture says elders, people with proven track record, should be in the business of deliverance. We are praying, Father Lord, that you will raise strength in us like never before in our midst at the enthronement assembly. People who have a demonstrated history of deliverance, of victory in the areas of their struggle. And as you are saving them, as their faith has not failed, they are strengthening others. In the name of Jesus, thank you because you are raising us up as strengtheners like never before. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Finally, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 now says, It said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in your weaknesses. No, we are not saying that there won't be weaknesses, but we are saying that God is raising people that when you look at their weaknesses, what you are seeing is God's strength perfected in their weaknesses. We are saying, Lord, grace, sufficient grace uh, for your strength uh, to be perfected in our weaknesses. Uh, give to us uh, at the enthronement assembly. Pray us in the name of Jesus. Uh, sufficient grace uh, for your strength uh, to be made perfect uh, in every area of weakness. Let every weakness represented in this house now uh, they begin to experience uh, the strength of God uh, the perfected strength of God let every weakness represented in this prayer house uh, begin to experience uh, the perfect strength of God introduce your perfect strength uh, into every area of our weakness let your strength be demonstrated treated perfectly in our areas of weakness. In the name of Jesus. Let your grace be sufficient, Lord. To be able to demonstrate divine strength in areas of weakness. To be able to experience divine strength in every area of weakness in the name of Jesus thank you heavenly father because we receive sufficient grace that your strength be perfected 
in our weaknesses. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I'm going to give you one minute to go to God and ask him for what you want him to do in this atmosphere of grace and anointing upon this mountain where prayers are answered. I want you to just ask him for one thing and say before the end of this fast, do this for me. Begin to pray about that in the name of Jesus. Begin to activate the miracle of this same time tomorrow. Libra Tosha, activate the miracles of the free things that have been promised. Libra Kataya, the things given at a discount price. Libra Roshka Paria Kataya Baba, Libra Rosu Kopli Kikatu Supretia, Eruski Parie Gedede. Ili kreato so pretiska, le pato so prali kata, rikete ye de le koroko su paragata yaga, e lufraki kata, neke reke kukaria kata, e li kabaradosa, kriesu su fratiga, le keria kata. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Come on, lift up your hands to heaven and begin to thank him. Begin to visualize the manifestation of the things that he has done begin to visualize your victory over sin victory over weaknesses victory over delilah victory strength begin to visualize your strength even in the areas of weakness thank heavenly father give him praise give him glory because it's not a prayer consuming god he's a prayer answering god thank him thank him thank him because our destiny is not cut short like samson our destiny is preserved like Joseph's in the name of Jesus we receive renewed strength to flee from every entity that is after our strength and the source of our strength in Jesus mighty name we have prayed thank you Heavenly Father for answered prayers thank you because we are seeing the travel of our soul and we are satisfied thank you because our joy is full because our requests are, are answered in Jesus mighty name we have prayed thank you for joining prayers today God bless you hallelujah but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary join enthronement assembly's 30-day breakthrough and dominion fast as we partake of God's counsel for the season our father in the Lord Reverend Dejola body will be live online daily by 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. from the 10th of November to the 9th of December 2022 on all Enthronement Assembly platforms, YouTube at Enthronement Assembly and Mixellar at Enthronement NG. Welcome to the Happening Zone. Assembly Ministry Internship Program, Course 2, commences this December. Are you called to ministry? Is there a voice inside of you you can't ignore? Get equipped with the Bible-based ministry training hands-on internship experience and the impartation that will help you fulfill your purpose on the earth. Application is ongoing for full-time students only. Pick up your form at the Latitude 310A Titila Yuadidoi or Moliface Wanikeja or at the EHCC Information System stand after the service. Enroll now for the Enthronement Assembly Ministry Internship Program course 2 and be thoroughly equipped for your ministry. For more inquiries, call 0703-5859-710. Enthronement Assembly, activating and actualizing God's royalty in you. Thus said the Lord of hosts, in those days, ten men from every language of the nations shall grasp the sleeves of a Jewish man, saying, Let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Zechariah chapter 8 and verse 23. Endeavor to be a part of the Enthronement Assembly's Project 10 to 1 initiative. Every member of the house is expected to invite 10 people to church from now till the end of the year. Get involved in the growth of church membership. Exciting prizes and gifts to be won monthly. A grand prize is also up for grabs at the end of the year. For more details, contact 
Love Dynamics is on the move again. This time, it's Yava Tech filling the vibes. Theme is, Let Me Be Your Romeo, Will You Be My Juliet? Word will be brought to you by Dr. Sheung Olabodi. It will be happening at Iman Unachiku Hall Alumni Complex on Friday, 25th November 2022. Time is 12 noon. It's going to be Vibe on Vibe with Kit Steppers and MCD. My love, oh my love. 